This is Twit. Let's talk a little bit about um, about how is this pronounced? Alpaquita? Alpaquita Linux? Alpaquita. Right? Ah, yeah, I was yeah, close. This this is right. This is right. Yeah. So what's the story there? What does that let someone do? It's it's very let's let's start with with the naming. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I I, I did, didn't talk a, a bit about our contributions to OpenJDK and uh, to GraalVM. We um, there was there was a project within OpenJDK for many years, like Oracle Engineer. Michael Whitsett started that. Uh, the project called Pertola, and its uh, aim was to bring support of Alpine Linux into the OpenJDK because Alpine use the uh, muscle libc as standard c library uh, not glibc as uh, other um, distributions and uh, muscle wasn't supported by the open jdk mm -hmm. and uh, we created uh, liberica jdk muscle base a while ago and uh, used that and uh, during that time we prepared the pertola project to be the part of the open JDK upstream. And at JDK 16, we integrated Pertola project into the upstream of open JDK. Mm -hmm. And uh, now Alpine is the first class citizen within open JDK. So it's supported platform. Uh, then we, we, when we did uh, the same for GraalVM, so made Alpine as the part of GraalVM. And during that, Play because we've found Alpine a perfect uh, distribution for the containers, uh, because we created containers for Liberica Lite distribution and delivered that to our customers who run their Spring Boot applications uh, in in cloud and containerized environment. And during that time, we uh, identified some areas which which need to be improved. Uh, on Linux side, not on Java side, we mm -hmm. like we, we we were able to do everything with our distribution because it was our distributions. And finally, we understood that the creation, the Linux distributions with optimizations targets for the Java workloads, that's reasonable. And that's what we actually did. So why is uh, Alpkita? The naming was, uh, it's, it's always very hard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and the, project wait, project wait, names are like email addresses. All the good ones are taken. <laughs> absolutely. And it was our case, actually. So we, we um, uh, decided to name our Linux distribution Alpakita. Uh, no, Alpakita. Initially, it was Alpaca. Alpaca are animals who lives in, in South America uh, mm -hmm. mountains, and they are very cute. <laughs> and uh, we saw that, yeah, alpaca lives in mountains, alpine is the mountains, nice connotations, so let's do that. And it's funny, <laughs> uh, looks, yeah. it looks funny. And we, we decided to do that, created everything already named our packages. And then we started to pass through legal due diligence and legal guys say to us that this uh, trademark already taken and uh, they strongly suggested us not to move forward with uh, alpaca. So we played around and uh, found alpaquita in Spanish that's called like kind of a alpaca kit. And uh, we decided why not? It's even more cuter than, than <laughs> alpaca <laughs> and now we have alpaquita linux and alpaquita cloud native platform so uh, alpaquita linux uh, is alpine based but with some additional um, additional optimizations what we put inside uh, first of all we uh, did some uh, balance we 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 uh, put uh, some balanced kernel uh, option configurations. We enabled uh, NUMA, non-uniform memory access uh, with NUMA worn scheduler. We uh, enabled task group support. Um, and uh, we enabled uh, budget fair queuing uh, with some 
other additional features. That's about the kernel and Alpha Kita based uh, on the LTS kernel 5.10. On the um, Lipsy side, uh, we did uh, the biggest part of, of, of our work, actually. And uh, we uh, decided that our distribution will create free standard C libraries. We'll provide Alpakita with uh, standard muscle library. Uh, and uh, we also add our muscle perf. So, muscle which performs uh, good with java sure. and uh, we we put um uh like optimization options uh, we uh, add uh, minus o2 and minus o3 for different subsystems of muscle perf uh, on the other side alpine only use uh, minus os which allows optimizations for size and um <clears throat> Uh, Bellsoft muscle supports indirect functions, which um, allows to use different implementations of uh, functions for this specific platform, for this specific processor. Mm -hmm. And uh, muscle perf also supports various CPU uh, specific ASM functions. Uh, in addition to uh, benefit from um, uh, from new CPU instructions, operations, operating system must be able to discover them. And muscle perf uh, internally implements CPU feature discovering also. And uh, the third part is Glipsy. Glipsy is the part of Alpakita distribution also because many, um, many uh, users as we see, uh, we depend on Glipsy uh, and we, we cannot just quickly migrate to uh, Muscle because on the native side, we have dependencies to Glipsy. However, they use uh, Java and they run Java applications. So we provide the flexibility to to our users with different, uh, different Glipsy implementations. And in addition to extend it, that flexibility even, even wider, we provided a free uh, memory allocators there, like RPMLLock, MIMLLock, and GMLLock for different workloads. They all have, they all have trade-offs, of course, and there is no a silver bullet for any use cases. But uh, if if that that's possible to to play with different one and find the most optimal one for the specific workload, that's always good, and we found that uh, useful for us. Yeah. And uh, Alpakita also has some uh, uh, security hardening. Sure. So we implemented uh, at the kernel uh, lockdown to prevent direct and indirect access to the uh, running kernel image. We uh, implemented, we support the secure boot and uh, we support kernel module sign in via FSHA uh, 512. Uh, we are about to provide security advisory to our users and customers. And of course, 24 by seven support is always valuable. Yes. <laughs> Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. We're excited to announce that IT Pro TV is now IT Pro, acquired by ACI Learning. Together with their combined expertise and capabilities, they are the go-to training provider for all things technology and information management. Visit ACILearning.com and let ACI power up your IT team.